Good afternoon, Coach. Pat Freeman from the Buffalo Criterion newspaper. How are you today? I'm doing well, Pat. How are you? Good. How, after watching the tape uh, from last night, uh, what was your summation of some of the problems you had, you guys had against the run? And then uh, if you can tell me uh, what is the health of the team and um, what was your message to Josh with, with ball security? Because that's really the first time uh, this year he really made bad, uh, a couple of bad passes that caused turnovers. I thought the earlier ones he had were more competitive uh, interceptions where uh, the receiver and the uh, defensive player made better plays on the ball. Yeah, so I'll start there first, Pat. Um, you know, people make mistakes. Uh, Josh has had a great year to this point, and I thought he played really well at times last night. And like the rest of us, had some plays he wants back, and he mentioned that after the game. And um, he's very he's very well aware of uh, those decisions and how they can they can hurt us. And and that's something we overall need to continue to work on uh, offensively. Um, that we take care of the football. And when you're sloppy with it, bad things happen. And uh, so you're playing, you're playing the uh, Russian roulette game right there with that. So um, as it goes back to um, the run defense, I think was your first question. And yeah, I mean, it starts with uh, me putting the players uh, in, in a better position schematically and then, and then us executing fundamentally um, when it comes to taking on blocks, reading our keys, so on and so forth. Um, and then that, you have to forgive me. There was one other question that you looped in there. I can't remember what it was. Now. Just uh, the health of the team coming out of the game, sir. Yeah. Um, so Jordan Poyer, um, we're still evaluating his situation. Um, and uh, uh, Matt Milano uh, has an oblique that we're evaluating. Um, Let's see. Uh, Spencer Brown did not play. He's improving, so we'll see how he does this week. I thought Quez uh, did a real nice job in, in Spencer's absence, uh, the back portion of the Kansas City game, and then and then all the way through this game. Uh, so that was that was good to see. My hat goes off to him. Um, I think that should be it. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Sure. Hey, Sean. How you doing today? Good. How are you, Matt? I'm well, thank you. So real quick, with Jordan Poyer, do you have any timeline or tentative timeline on that injury? I know you said still evaluated. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything uh, more than what I said, yeah. Is for Tredavious White, any update on Trey? I know you guys have a couple days to kind of make a decision and activate him to the roster. Yeah, we will. We intend to activate Trey. Um, you know, he'll remain day to day and not really going to get into speculating on whether he's going to play this week or not. We're just going to continue to take it day by day like we've done to this point. And then my last one for you, this is going to be the last time we talk to you before the NFL trade deadline tomorrow. And it's always a very tricky thing to navigate, I'm sure, as a head coach. But what does your approach look like for these next 24 hours as there's movement not just around the league, but also potentially in your own locker room? Yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're sensitive, sensitive to that, number one. Um, uh, as far as our, lo our our own locker room goes and our own team. And as I said before, uh, confident in the guys we have in our locker room. Um, you know, that's one, two is a lot of, a lot of this is, is Brandon, Brandon's to handle while I'm coaching the team during the season. And certainly he loops me in on things and we talk almost daily. Um, uh, and sometimes twice a day or more, um, just based on the flow, ebb and flow of a day. Uh, but I'm sure he's, um, uh, you know, busy with looking into things and seeing how we can best help our football team moving forward like we always do. Well, thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, Sean, just a, just a quick follow to that. Um, you know, last night, notwithstanding, I think it, given the opponents you faced and, and the record you have here at this point in the season, you've established yourselves as one of the best football teams uh, in the league. Um, but in terms of the standard, uh, and I don't know how specific you want to get, if you want to get specific at all, but are you fully confident in the roster you have, um, without any additions to achieve the, the stated goal of this team and this franchise this year? 
Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm extremely confident in, in the players that we have in our locker room, in our leadership. And uh, now we have to continue to grow and get better uh, as a team uh, and, and as a staff. Um, that said, I'm, I'm extremely confident in, in who we are and, and, and our football team. And, and one follow, understanding that you don't have um, a timetable or don't want to give one on Jordan Poyer at this point, given the the reps and the in-game experience that, you know, some of the younger players on your roster have had now um, with him having missed prior time. Uh, is that less of a concern for you now, given you've seen the level of performance that they're capable of in there, uh, provided well, it's not a yeah. long-term type injury? Yeah, I mean, you always want better and veteran players who are good players out there, right? And, and and just good players overall, as many of those guys as you can have out there, the better off you are um, normally. So, um, you know, we'll see where Jordan, how Jordan trends this week. And um, we'll just take it one day at a time. But I mean, I've been impressed with uh, the way that the young players have been ready um, and the coaches have had them ready and, and they've have taken an active uh, uh, role in that themselves. And, um, you know, we've done some things, we've, we've had some, some injuries, and I think I've been impressed with the resiliency of our team and um, the way we've navigated through that through the first, um, I think really other than the first game, we've had a, a number of injuries going through the season here to this point. So I, I, I applaud the guys and how they've handled it. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. Coach Mookie York as well for Sports City. Andy, how you doing today, sir? Good, Mookie. How are you? I'm good, Coach. I'm good. Um, just uh, from a fundamental standpoint, Coach, just um, assess what went well and what didn't went well. Well, um, you know, I thought there were times when we were really strong fundamentally and there were times where we weren't. Um, I thought we could have tackled better defensively and and, uh, and on special teams in a couple of situations there. And then uh, offensively, I thought we dropped we dropped some balls that were catchable balls. and and. Uh, you know, you can always get better with blocking, uh, getting off blocks. And um, I thought there were some very strong moments fundamentally, but there's certainly some things where we can improve uh, fundamentally as well. Absolutely, Coach. And uh, one other, if I can, um, Green Bay run game. They, they, they amassed over 200 yards against one of the top run defenses in the league. Um, how much did that concern you? And what, what are some of the things you need to fix up front? Yeah, I mean, it's not just up front. When you defend the run, Mookie, it takes all 11 guys, right? So, one, we put them in the right position. Two, um, they execute. And, and uh, there's times where we didn't do uh, – where we did both of those things. There's times where we didn't do both of those things. So, I, you know, you always got to start with yourself. And I start with myself. Um, you know, I got to do a better job. And, uh, and uh, you know, and then fundamentals come into play. And then um, the execution part as well. So, um, ha however you look at it, it's got to get better, and, uh, and and we'll look forward to making those adjustments this week. That was our coach. Congrats on the win. All right, thank you. Hi, Sean. Um, I want to ask you about uh, James Cook. Obviously, a uh, really productive game uh, on, I think it was like under 10 touches in that game. What did you make of his performance? And from the start of the season to now, how much trust has he built with you based on his work and practice and now what he's kind of putting on tape in games. Yeah. You know, he, he got off to a, uh, to a normal, I would say rookie start where, you know, there's, there was some highs or some lows and um, you know, I, I applaud James the way he, he pushed through it and the way his teammates really helped him as well to get through some of those, some of those tougher moments. And um, that's all, that's all the journey of, of an NFL player though. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I, I think what he's done best is he's his practice habits have improved and then he's carried that over to games, which means um, which is how you do it. Right. I mean, very few players can practice one way and expect to play another. And uh, and, I, and I think he's starting to understand how every little every little detail um, uh, matters and that the, the results come from the margins. It's such a such a close and highly competitive game that we play and coach that you've got to be on your game every week and you got to practice that way and you got to prepare that way. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it.